she came and she spoiled me. I guess that's why I thought she was the best, you know. She did her job as a grandma. Um, at night, she'd tell us ghost stories. Oh my gosh, those were so spooky for a little kid. And, and somebody ate out your heart and you'd be screaming, you know, and then she'd go, is that my heart you have, you know, and you'd be like, oh. <laughs> and, and she played the role and dimmed the lights, you know. Your grandma's going to tell you a spooky story and you'd love it and you'd hate it all at the same time because you were so scared. And then during the day, she used to always walk with me up to Dang's store and the little money she had, she would spend on me and I could buy crack seed and candy and anything I want. And I love when we played cards because we were on the mat and she would hug me real close and stick those cards under my leg. And I was like, at first, like, whoa, what is this? <gasps> And then when she needed it, she took it back and she played it and she won. I said, my grandma just cheated. <laughs> she won, but she just cheated, you know? So, um, yeah, she was the best. It, and then I, I, I just remember so vividly when my father tried to manage her diet because she, she, she had a sweet tooth and she was a diabetic and we were out there in the bushes and she threw candy away. She threw it. She flinged it because he was going to catch us eating candy, you know. And I thought that was the neatest thing. <laughs> like, yeah, she got one over on you, Daddy. <laughs> it was always the Ubaki stories. Yep, you got my liver. Who's got my liver? 